Hi everybody, this is Miss Kim at the Clark County Public Library. Welcome to Yoga Story Time. Today's story time programs will be a little different in that we're not going to do poses, we're just going to practice breathing and meditation. Uh, that's one thing that's very important if you take a few minutes out of your day just to do a little meditating, it, it, could, uh, it could turn the worst day into a good day, okay? Today's story is called The Three Little Yogis and the Wolf Who Lost His Breath. And it's written by Susan Verde, and the pictures are by Jay Fleck, and we have permission from um, Abrams Young Readers to read the story with you guys today. But let's, let's start and do a few stretches before we settle back and read the story, okay? First, we'll do the side stretches. We've always done press the legs straight back, hands out, clasp your fingers, and raise your hands to the sky. Breathe in and tip over. Breathe out and back up. stretch we're going to do is actually a pose, it's called a butterfly pose, but I like to use it. It's good for stretching out your legs, and they're going to mention it in the story, okay? See if you can find when they talk about it. Put your soles of your feet together, okay? Wrap your fingers around your toes, and then just flutter your legs like butterfly wings. Just to get your legs moving a little bit. And now we can settle in with this story. Three little yogis and a wolf who lost his breath. Once upon a time, there was a wolf who lost his huff and his puff. As you might imagine, this was a problem for the wolf, a big, bad problem. You see, sometimes the wolf felt angry, which happens to everyone from time to time. There were many reasons he felt that way. Sometimes he felt angry when he had to share, when he was having trouble doing something difficult, when he was worried, or when he was hungry, and sometimes he wasn't sure why he was angry. What he did know that was when he was angry, the only thing that seemed to make him feel better was hopping and puffing and blowing things down. He blew down fences and houses and anything that got in his way, causing trouble wherever he went. The wolf never actually felt much better after huffing and puffing. In fact, when he saw how frightened the rest of the town looked after he blew something down, he felt even worse but he just didn't know what else to do. One morning when the wolf wanted to blow off some steam, he came upon a little yogi doing sun salutations by her straw hut, stretching her arms to the sky to greet the new day. The wolf saw how peaceful the little yogi looked, but he didn't feel peaceful at all. His heart and mind were racing and his body felt hot and uncomfortable. Oh, how he wanted to huff and puff and blow down the little yogi's hut into a big pile of straw. So the wolf opened his mouth wide and tried to blow. He tried on big things and small things, on heavy things and light things, but nothing happened. Instead, all that came out was a wheeze and a cough. <coughs> the little yogi heard the wolf wheezing and ran over to help him. She didn't appear to be afraid of him at all. Wolf, take a slow, deep breath, the yogi said. I, I can't, said the breathless wolf. I lost my huff and puff. Let's meditate on that, the yogi said. Maybe you need to practice some belly breathing. Close your eyes and place your paws on your belly. Now breathe in through your snout and feel your belly and your paws rise. Now breathe out and feel your belly and your paws lower. Let's keep going nice and slow. As the wolf felt his belly rise and fall, his breath became slower and deeper. But just when he started to feel calmer, he remembered he lost his huff and puff and he started to feel angry again. He jumped up and tried to down, blow down the yogi's straw hut. No luck. The wolf's, to the wolf's surprise, the little yogi didn't run away. Instead, she said, I have an idea. She took the wolf by the paw. And soon they came upon the wooden house of a second little yogi who was in the middle of his afternoon yoga flow. They watched him giggle and wiggle his tail in the air as he stretched in downward dog and then lengthen his body into a powerful plank as straight as the wooden beams in his house. While the first little yogi explained the situation, the wolf could feel himself getting frustrated and tense again. His paws curled and his body stiffened. He opened his mouth wide and he tried to blow down the second yogi's wooden house, but again, he only wheezed and coughed. <laughs> I lost my huff and puff, he said. 
Well, let's meditate on that, said the second yogi. Sit down in butterfly pose. He showed the wolf how to bend his knees and place the soles of his paws together. Maybe you need to practice some cooling breath. Close your eyes and open your mouth. Stick out your tongue and slowly inhale. Now feel the cool air into your mouth and your body. Now close your mouth and breathe out through your snout. Keep going, nice and slow. The wolf started to cool down in his body and his mind, just when he started to feel calmer. He remembered his lost half and puff and he started to feel angry again. He jumped up and tried to blow down the yogi's wooden house. No luck. Again, to the wolf's surprise, instead of running away, the second yogi said, I know where we should go. The two little yogis took the wolf paws in hooves and walked with him under the setting sun. Soon they came upon a yoga studio adorned with colorful bricks. Inside, a third little yogi was in half-moon pose. They came outside and noticed the exhausted wolf. What's wrong, they asked. Wolf was startled. No one had ever actually asked him that question before. I want to blow everything down, but I've lost my huff and puff, the wolf answered breathlessly. Well, why do you want to blow everything down, the third yogi said. Again, the wolf was surprised. That was a new question, too, because when I'm angry, I think a huff and puff will make me feel better. Does it really make you feel better? Only for a moment, I blow everything away, but then everyone runs away from me, too. I don't like that others are frightened of me, but without my huff and puff, I don't know what else I can do. Well, let's meditate on that, the third little yogi said. Maybe you just need to practice some supported breathing. Sit down with your back pressed up against mine. Close your eyes and notice the air moving in your back. Can you feel it feeling up my back, too? Now breathe in and out through your snout. Try to match the pace of my breathing. Beneath the shimmering moonlight, the wolf and the yogis practiced breathing together, back to back, nice and slow. Soon the wolf began to inhale and exhale more deeply. Then something new happened. The wolf felt different. He didn't feel tense or frustrated. He felt peaceful. Under the sparkle of the stars, the three little yogis showed the wolf even more ways to relax and breathe until at last they all settled down for Savasana. From then on, when the wolf felt angry, or sad, or scared, or worried, which happens to everyone from time to time, he knew just what to do. I may have lost my half and puff, the wolf said, but I have found my breath. The end. And then at the end, in the back, they have some more breathing exercises that you can try if you would like to borrow this book. I put together a few we're going to try today, okay? This first one I call hot chocolate, okay? We're just going to sit like this, like we always do, and you hands on your knees, but you're going to close your eyes, and you're going to, you're going to pretend you have this great big cup of hot chocolate right in front of you, okay? Maybe it's got marshmallows in it, I don't know. But it's right there. So you're going to take a deep breath in, and you're going to smell that hot chocolate, but it's too hot to drink, okay? So you're going to blow on your hot chocolate to cool it down. Can we try that? Close your eyes. Let's do it. certainly you have your hands clean, okay? Like you just washed them. You don't even want to do this with clean hands. But hold your hands up. These are your wings, okay? Put your thumbs over your ears. Put your hands over your eyeballs. And you're going to take a deep breath in. And as you breathe out, you're going to make a buzzing sound like a bee, okay? And you make that buzzing sound as long as you can. Let's give this a try. Ready? Breathe in. One more.
buzzing in your head. It makes you feel nice and calm. I feel a lot calmer already. All right, now we're gonna do the whale breath, okay? This time we're gonna take a big deep breath in. We're gonna hold it, count to five. And then you can let it out like you're from, from a whale's blowhole. Everything's gonna come out, all right? Let's do that. Deep breath in. You guys try these anyway, okay? Let me know what you think. Try them if you're feeling worried or scared or angry. Especially try them if you think you're about ready to say something really mean, okay? But um, it, it will really turn your day around, okay? So give it a shot. Until next time, namaste.